Let's watch some best matches of the round of 16 of the Nylons Clash vs GP365 in France tournament in Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wide Live Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 and to turn on the bell if you like this video. Let's watch first the matches between Nyx and Hitman365. Nyx is the leader of Nylons Clash Club. He enjoys playing with Jonah. Hitman365 is one of the best high big forehand players of GP365 and France Club. He's playing very well with high serve big forehand or with the counter puncher style. So Nix was choosing a strong serve with a lower serve stat than Hitman365 for this match and a bigger forehand. Hitman365 was uh, having a higher serve stat a more balanced two hand stat. Strong weekend, but not too much. And a backhand which is not too weak. So the surf stat of Nix was not very high, but that was enough to outflank Hitman365 or to ace him on some points. Very simply because. Hitman 365 Leo's agility is not that high. And that's the same thing for all high serve big forehand players, actually. You don't really need a 70 something serve stat when you play versus a high serve big forehand player. A very high serve stat is rather for use versus a counter puncher. So, all players were serving very well in this first match. Just talking about match. Of course I'm not going to show all matches of the round of 16. I have already made some uh, separated videos for Bombo Bo and Tommy Kanda and Shoni Shoni. So in this one you are going to see the best matches only. Play by the order. Participants in this round of 16. Very nice soft forehand shot to end this match. Tough match between Nix and Hitman365. So you can notice that Nix was using the choker courts during those matches. This is a quite interesting choice. Even with a low stamina stat, that could be enough very simply because when you play with high serve big forehand versus another high serve big forehand player, you can uh, either hit aces or winner serve with a strong serve stat or in rallies very fast with a strong forehand and then you can hope to make the difference on some points using the long catch that is associated to the joker quartz so this is a kind of good bet of course you need to accept the stamina loss when you play with the Joker Cords, which has only a stamina shield tier 1 versus uh, your opponent who uses the Master Monty having the stamina shield at the tier 2 but in exchange for that risk you have the advantage of the long catch that can y allow you to make the difference in some points allowing you to break that was useful for instance in the previous rally that Nix won it was mainly thanks to the long catch Nix qualified for the quarterfinals let's watch now the matches between Osama M365 and Ramanujan both were using the counter puncher style both were playing with the anvil to have more stamina so as to use either Siberian wire or Punisher gut more easily so as to have a bit more of stamina by the end of the match. Just 
what is funny is is that Osama M365 was having a strong backhand while Ramanujan was having the opposite a strong forehand So Osama M has a pretty good accuracy either in aggressive or defensive shots so on the previous point that was not on point but overall his accuracy is very high and that allows him to outflank the opponent with some big shots towards the corner and now and then he hits cross court drop shots so that was not working very well on the previous point but at least he tries to diversify his hitting pattern which is very good and which is something that uh, experienced players especially experienced counter punches do yeah Ramanujan tried to hit very hard there but this return was a bit too long so playing with the Sibiran wire or Punisher got even if you have a lot of stamina is a big bet you take a lot of risk because at the end of the match your stamina level is pretty low so of course you have the possibility to counter better the forehand or backhand shots of your opponent but it drains a lot of stamina in this match Ramanujan was using the Mastro Monty so he's going to try and tire Osama M365 out so as to take the advantage in terms of stamina by the end of the match and Osama M will try to shorten the rallies as much as possible by using the backhand counter ability of the Punisher Gut Wishing Wiper mode was on for Usama M365 this hitting pattern can work pretty well if your accuracy is high enough Very nice uh, forehand winner. As you can see, whenever rallies last a bit long, Ramanujan is having the advantage of stamina. But Osama M265 succeeded in hitting some very nice winners on the soft serves of Ramanujan so he still had enough stamina by the end of this match his Kaito was not crawling on the court very nice anticipation there from Osama M365 but it was not enough Ramanujan was positioning his Florence again very well another nice anticipation from Ramanujan now Samaya needs to take risk to end the rallies very fast with one or two shots max after the serve. serve otherwise his kaito will be doomed very nice cross court backhand winner from Ramanujan same thing for Osama M365 this match is very very tight And Ramanujan hit 
a final backhand winner. But Osama M365 qualify for the quarterfinal. Let's watch now a match between Sent and Tam Home, both players of GP365 and Friends Club. So they chose the wrong arena to play those friendlies. Normally all players had to play in the Paris Arena, the Tour 8 court. So, both players were using the same build and had almost the same stats except that Sent was having one more agility point versus Tame Home. Because Sent was using the hated threat while Tame Home was using the feather. But this extra agility point is not really a big advantage. It can't give you a clear advantage over the opponent. It's not because you have one extra agility point that you can win more easily. It's rather the positioning of your character, the hitting pattern analysis. All that to improve the anticipation and of course the shots power so if you have already watched the best match selections of each week from the GP365 and Friends Club's members published on the channel Gameplay365 you will know that Sent is capable of hitting very accurately and he never gives up those are his strengths let's watch now the matches between Aredi and Aladdin. Aredi was using Kaito with Cabo Load to have two strong hands. This is a good build to play versus serve volley players. Aladdin was using the classic serve volley build for seven points matches with the natural energy instead of Kaito sourcing. And Gladiator. Two, one. As you can see, having two strong hand stats is pretty useful to play versus the serve volley players. Very simply because you don't need to turn around and hit with your bigger hand. Three. Both hands have same stats, so you just need to uh, be accurate and already was doing that pretty well to hit big shots provoking the exclamation mark over this uh, volley player then hit big down the line passing shots this is relatively simple a strategy but uh, it worked pretty well with Saladin. another big shot towards the corner and Aladdin was unable to return it correctly that one was a very nice volley from Aladdin as you can see whenever the return on the serve is not strong enough that becomes uh, pretty easy for Aladdin to hit the volley winner and by the end because Aladdin was lacking stamina that becomes pretty easy for already to hit the winners same burn for this match Ow. and almost the same strategy you can notice that already almost never lops is relying exclusively on a big shot main purpose is still the same meaning to put the serve volley player in a difficult position thanks to some big shots and then continuously hit the two corners to wear the volley player out and then hit smash winners or passing shots 
That was a brilliant forehand winner there. Very nice volley from Aladdin. And a double fault from Aradi. So this is the volley players. I personally don't recommend trying to hit very hard when you play with Kaito, of course, because that is not so useful. And two match points for Aradi. And right on the first attempt, Aradi won this match and qualify for the quarterfinal. So you are going to see now the list of uh, qualified players for the quarterfinals. Levis from Island Clash, Shoney Shoney from GP3 Cyber and Friends, Sent from GP3 Cyber and Friends, and Aredi from Island Clash, Osama M365 and Bombo and Tommy Kanda from GP3 Cyber and Friends Club. And finally, Nix from Island Clash. Well, I hope you enjoy watching the best matches of the round of 16 of the Island Clash vs. GP3 Swive and Friends Club Tournament in Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wild Live Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay 265 and to turn on the bell to stay tuned for new videos of the tournament. Thank you a lot for your support and see you soon on Gameplay 265. Bye-bye.